Hey everyone, it's Jason. Welcome to another Marvel Champions Hero Packs unboxing. This is for The Vision. Uh, this is one of his newer costumes. Um, I personally wish I would have used it more of like his classic one. Uh, but this one's alright, I guess. Um, so this is the newest Avenger to come out. So of course we're going to get the pre-built deck, 31 cards, um, and a new Nemesis. Uh, so let's hop in here. We're going to get the poster, of course. And then, on the back, we're going to have... He's going to have a couple of different things here. So, he's going to have an additional forms. Cards with the keyword form granted again a unique form, such as mass form. Uh, we've seen this with Spectrum, uh, where she has some of her different light forms. Um, it's basically just another card that states what sort of uh, different version they are. Um, without having to make, like... Um, so you can have your hero have multiple different versions of themselves, uh, that they can swap between. So, like, there she used different types of energies. His is going to have mass forms, um, so you can switch between, uh, diamond hard and intangible. Um, we have the alliance keyword, which is a new, uh, keyword just recently come out. Uh, so player declares their intention to play an alliance card. Any, any player may help pay that cost. Uh, so it's actually a really fun idea. Uh, we have piercing. Uh, keywords of piercing. Any, discard any status card before doing damage. And we have stalwart. Uh, characters with the stalwart keyword cannot be stunned or confused. And vision gains the protection. Um, and we'll just kind of jump in. I don't like to read over too much of what they're going to do. I'd rather just look at what the card does. Um, alrighty. Let's... Zoom up in here. Okay, so here we have uh, Superhero Vision. He has two thwart, no attack, no defense. Uh, he's an android and an avenger. Hand size of 5, hit points of 11. Uh, he has destiny, manipulation, action. Change your mass form by flipping your mass form upgrade over limit once per round. Odd, uh, some say I am less than human, when in truth I am far superior. Uh, yeah, so when he's in hero mode, his attack and defense are going to be based on what his, um, his mass form is. Uh, so normally he just, he can just thwart, but if you want to be able to attack or defend, you're going to need to add some stuff to him. Let's look at his alter ego, which he has like a setup side. So, like the guardian characters, he's also just vision, he doesn't get a regular name. Uh, three recovery. He's just an android. Uh, while you are in deep, while you are in dense mass form, you get plus two recovery. So we'll look at dense mass form. But that's nice. You can have up to five recovery. While you are in intangible mass form, you gain a hand size of plus one. So normally he always has five, unless you're in that mode. Then he has six. And then set up, put your mass form upgrade into play. Intangible side up. So basically, you start off, um, you start off with an extra card in your hand. Alright, so yeah, that's not, not a ton going on with that, just in general. Um, but here's going to be our mass forms. So it's mass form, it's a permanent upgrade card. Um, vision cannot attack or defend. Uh, reduce the amount of damage vision takes from each attack by two. Uh, so you can automatically take two less damage, but you can't tap him, or exhaust him, rather, to defend. He can't attack, so while he's in hero mode, he's still going to have zero attack, zero defense. But he can thwart, uh, so you can be thwarting for two, so if you want to thwart, it's a good way to go, plus you'll take less damage um, while you're sitting there. But if you want to do some damage, we're going to flip over to our dense mode. And it says, well, in hero form, Vision gets two attack and two defense. That makes him a 2-2-2. Two, two, two. Um, and then response. After you change to this mass form, draw one card. So, because you're going to lose a card from your hand. Um, like, from flipping from this side. Um, so, you're going to lose that card, but you gain an extra card to use. Uh, so, yeah, it's kind of a neat. You got to go back and forth. Uh, so, besides... Determine if you want to be in hero mode or alter ego mode. You also are going to have to decide if you want to be in intangible or defense. Intangible or 
dance mode. Um, and we're gonna have cards that are gonna play into those, of course. Um, just like Spectrum had energy cards, depending on which energy form she was. Other cards did stuff. So his signature ally is going to be Vivian. Uh, one sport, one attack, two health, two cost. She's an android and she's a champion. So we got another champion character. Um, will you earn tangible mass form? Vivian gets two thwart. Will you earn dense mass form? Vivian gets two attack. I love you, daddy. Um, yeah, so it's kind of neat. She's a 3-3, three, three, essentially, depending on which form you're in. Um, so it's actually pretty powerful. Again, it depends on just if you want to be a thwarter or attacker. Um, which also makes Vision a very, so, a very unique character like that. Because then, he can basically be what you need him to be at that time. He is going to have a support card called... 616 Hickory Branch Lane. Um, it's a location. It's an Alter Ego action. Uh, exhaust this card. Search your deck and discard pile for an Android ally and shuffle. Add it to your hand and shuffle. I stand forever at the crossroads of mind and heart. Um, that's cool. Just for, just to search for an Android, which so far we've had just Vivian, but I'm sure we're going to come across more throughout the uh, rest of his deck. Uh, we have Solar Gem Upgrade, 2 cost item, uh, Vision gains the Aerial Trait, Resource, Exhaust Solar Gem, you generate a wild resource. The gem on Vision's brow absorbs the solar energy which his body converts into power by process similar to photosynthesis. Um, yeah, you play this and you get a free resource every, free, not only a free resource, but a free wild resource every turn, and the Aerial Trait, definitely nice. Um... Here we have Vision's Cape Upgrade item. While you are in Dense Mass Form, you gain Retaliate 1, so you get hit back for 1. While you are in Tangible Form, you gain Stalwart, which means you can't be confused. I don't know either of these have to do with this cape, but that's still a good ability. Uh, Vision's Density Control extends to his uniform and his cape. I mean, that's what it's supposed to be saying about how a cape, can, how a cape gives you Retaliate or stops you from being confused. Uh, density control, superpower upgrade, hero response, after you change mass form, discard this card, add a vision event from your discard pile to your hand, will it kill you to use the door, Hawkeye, oh, um, yeah, so that's kind of neat, you can just have it sitting out, and then when you change to one of your forms, you can discard it, and it's not forced response, you can do it whenever you want, um, but then it lets you pull an event out. And you get two copies of that. We're going to get three copies of Solar Beam, um, which is a three cost event. So, attack, a superpower, and a thwart. Hero action, attack. If Vision is in a dense mass form, deal seven damage to an enemy. Or, hero action, thwart. If Vision is in tangible mode, remove five threat from a steam. Um, so, that's actually really cool because it's not just like one card that works only in there. It'll work depending on whichever form you need to be on. So again, you guys, do I need to do damage this turn? Or do I need to remove threat? Um, you can pick one and this card will definitely work. Um, then you can use that other card to find it. So here we have our next event. We have Super Dense Strike. Uh, attack Super Power. Play only if Vision is in Dense Mass Form. Hero Action Attack. Deal 5 damage to an enemy. This attack gains Piercing. I have made the calculations and there are no outcomes in which you can win this fight. So this one, yeah, you can only use it in dense mass, uh, but five damage is really good. Plus you ignore the tough status card. So then the counter to that would be just passing through. Super power thwart, only if you're in intangible mass form. Uh, thwart, move three threat from a steam, ignoring patrol keyword and the crisis icon. Uh, so crisis icon, normally forces you to have to deal with that uh, steam first uh, so you can do this to any steam regardless and then patrol means you can't thwart or attack um, if you have a minion on you so you can just ignore minions on you uh, so it's actually neat uh, then he has phase disruption one copy of this superpower uh, play only if it's if in intangible mass form hero action 
confusing enemy, choosing attachment on that enemy with the attack hero action or hero response and discard that attachment. Um, ooh, that's actually cool. So you can confuse an enemy and basically you can probably get rid of uh, one of their items for them to pay for extra costs. And then mass increase and one copy of this. Defense superpower. Uh, play only a dense mass form. Hero interrupt defense. Will vision defense prevent all damage from that attack. Stun the attack. Attacking enemy after the attack resolves. Uh, so that's actually cool. The only thing so far I have to say I I don't like as much. I do like the mass form. It's definitely neat. It's a neat little mechanic. Is all his actions are hero actions. Um, he does stuff in hero. The only the only thing he does when he's in alter ego form is just search for an android. Um, so the only po so really honestly the only reason to be in your alter ego form with him is if you have that one if you have that one card out because it does stay out uh, to search for a card or to recover. Um, You know, otherwise, yeah, his alter ego form doesn't do much. So I think Vision's gonna generally just stay in in Android or in a hero mode, and he's just gonna be attacking or thwarting. Um, then, for some reason, he takes too much damage, um, then he'll flip him over. But he can heal for you. Flip the deep, uh, dense mode, uh, dense mass, and he has five recovery, so he can heal half his hit points in one turn. And then he's going to go right back into Vagalins. So he's not going to spend a lot of time hanging out. Uh, hanging out doing that stuff. So that's actually kind of cool there. Um, let's look at... Let's look at the rest of his deck quick. Which is the protection. So he's going to get the green. So he's going to need some android allies. So he's going to have Jocasta. Uh, two thwart, which does two damage to her, and one attack. Uh, you may play the events attached to Jocasta as if they're in your hand. Response. After Jocasta enters, choose a defense event in your discard pile and attach it to her face down. Um, so that's kind of neat. You can pull one out of, your, out of there for your defense, and you can play it right away. Um, so what does he have for defense? I think he only has that one puck. So he has mass increase, which is definitely great because it blocks everything. So I think that might be only one in his deck. Yes, that's the only one he has. Um, but with a protection deck, you're probably going to end up with more. So he also gets, um, which is, this is actually starting to become more common, um, is the original ones they had, unless you were a leadership class, they only gave you one ally, or they gave you multiple allies. All the rest of them generally only got one, because you can only play, uh, two allies, I think. Um, you can play more as a leadership class, um, or get cards that let you play more. So they didn't include as many allies, but you're starting to do that more often now. So here we have Protector, whose name is Alexis. I have no idea who this is. Um, but it looks like she's standing over a Sentinel and holding an Ultron. She says, Thwart 1, attack for 3. She's only going to be able to do that once, though. Android Avenger. Uh, interrupt. When Protector would take any amount of damage, spend a genius resource to reduce that by 1. Uh, so you just do it, she's just blocking. Or you could spend 1 to reduce her other damage down to two, so you could do this. She'll only be able to do the attack, you can do it three times, you have to spend two two genius to do it. But still, if you spend two extra, you have some sitting around you can spare. Um, or if you, I'm thinking Spider-Man has, um, like Spider-Man has a card that lets him just produce genius, or use your one that produces wild, um, and you can keep sitting and reducing that and lower attack for three times. We also have Victor Mancha. Um, zero fort, zero attack, Android Avenger. Reduce the amount of damage uh, Victor Mancha takes from each attack by one. Um, 
I'm not really sure of the point of this card as the moment. He has four health. Um, and he's always going to take one less damage. Uh, so his attack and sport won't actually hurt him. But he doesn't have any attack or thwart. So you gotta basically play cards to upgrade him and he becomes better. Uh, just have a different way to do an ally. We have three new copies of the new card. Uh, Flow Like Water. Uh, which would, I believe that would be Shang-Chi there. Uh, condition. Uh, play under any player's control. Max one per player. Response. After you play a defense card, deal one damage to attacking enemy. Um, and then once it's out there, anytime you play a defense, you automatically... Basically like a free retaliate every turn. Here we have two copies of Indomitable. Uh, condition. Response. After your hero defends, discard Indomitable. Ready your hero. Definitely good. Yo, Sal, if you do block with division, you can just straight up start getting ready to attack the next turn. We have three copies of Defiance. Uh, there's another Shane Chi, I believe, and uh, Colleen Wing. Not 100% sure who they're fighting. Uh, but here's a defense card we've been looking for to work with them other ones and like Jacosta. Uh, interrupt. Hero interrupt defense. When you when a boost card on enemy attacking you will be turned face up, discard it instead. Yeah, it's just gonna automatically skip one for free. We have another defense with side step. We're gonna get three copies of that one. Um, hero interrupt defense. When you would take any amount of damage, prevent three of that damage. If you paid for this card using an energy resource, deal one damage to the enemy. Um, I like how all these defense cards are like hitting right back. You get lots of retaliate and stuff that's pretty fun. Uh, two copies of Get Behind Me. Hero Interrupt. When Treachery card is revealed from the encounter deck, can't to its when revealed effects, the villain attacks you instead. Uh, then you can use that defense to prevent it. And then we got one copy of the Preservation Resource. Um, so max one for deck. Hero response. After you spend this card, heal one damage from your identity. So these cards first came out in the Mad Titan set. Was it the Mad Titan? Yeah, Mad Titan set. Um, as part of the Adam Warlock deck. There was one for each color. Um, and then now they're slowly putting them into the other into regular character deck. So if you didn't buy the Mad Titan set, maybe you didn't you didn't want the extra campaign, you didn't like the characters or whatever. If you're buying all the current characters that have been coming out, um, they'll, they've been showing up in there. So you're able to get the, more of these or a second copy without having to buy a second set of that big box. Alright, so that was our protection cards. Our basic cards, we're going to get another Android ally, so that'd be four of them so far. Um... Plus, Vivian would be five. So, if we're looking for Android allies, we have five different Android allies. I don't recall if any other character has, in any of the other sets, has Android. I don't believe so. Um, at least not yet. Uh, so, Machine Man, Aaron Stack. Uh, one thwart, one attack, three health. Interrupt, when Machine Man attacks or thwarts, spend up to three resources of any type. Machine Man gains plus one thwart and... Plus one attack for each resource spent this way. Yeah, you see basically you can power them right up. Uh, copy of Avengers Matching, which we've seen plenty of times, but max one per player. Uh, exhaust Avengers Matching, choose a player, that player draws a card. Um, not bad though, right? You get extra cards, more cards that can do more stuff. We have three copies of the new reboot card. Um, ready a friendly Android character and heal one damage from it. Uh, have you tried turning the power off and back on? Uh, there's Ironheart. We haven't seen her as a character yet. I'm sure she's coming. Um, and then of course we just have the Energy, Genius, and Strength cards. Uh, yeah, like Android specific cards. Definitely neat. See so if they add some more Androids. Um, then we're going to have our obligation. Corrupted programming. Give to the vision player. 
Treat your mass form upgrade text box as if it were blank except for keywords. Um, so like actually saying which form it is. And then alter ego action. Exhaust your identity. Remove corrupted programming from the game. Um, so I actually like this one because majority of the obligations are uh, skip your turn. You know, like this one. Exhaust your identity. Um, and remove it from the game. Or do something just to put it back in the deck. Um, and I like how this one's just a little bit different. It's, you know, you can get rid of it permanently. Or it's just always sitting there um, messing with you. Scarlet Witch had one, I believe, that was similar to this. I think the Hulk might have. Uh, but just like when they occasionally just go against just having it be one of those two options. Alright, so our nemesis is going to be Ultron. Uh, so it's kind of fun because he's one of the very first bosses. Um, now we can have him as a minion. Uh, so you have 2-2. Two, two. Uh, Android Elite. Toughness. Force Interrupt. When Ultron attacks you, if Ultron Drones is in play, put the top card of your deck into play face down, engage with you as a drone minion. So he's going to use some of the same stuff he does as the boss. His side scheme is going to be Ultron Unleashed. When revealed, search the encounter deck, uh, discard pile, and set aside area for Ultron drones and put it into play. Shuffle the encounter deck. Each player puts the top card of their deck into play as a face down, engage with them as a drone minion. Uh, and so basically, a, oh, I can't remember, because it's from the base set, so they have the rules in there. Um, yeah, here we go. As I say, I wonder if they're going to re-explain this, and they do. So, Ultron Drones is an environment card. Each base down drone minion engaged with a player has a base steam of one, base attack of one, and a base hit point of one. So they're not very strong, um... But they do mess with you. And that's his force response. After face down drone minions defeated. Place this card in its owner's discard pile. Um, yeah they're not strong. They're not going to like kill you outright. But if they start ganging up on you. They could definitely do some damage. Plus everyone takes a card from your deck. Uh, so that you know makes it harder. And then we have two copies of Relentless Android. When revealed if Ultron Drones is in play. Put the top two cards of your deck into play face down. Engage with you as drone minions. Otherwise, discard two cards from your hand. Either way, you're losing two cards. Uh, yeah, so Ultron kind of sucks. Um, and then we have the pre-built deck list here. We'll just put that up there just so you can see. In case you want to make sure you didn't hear what numbers or what cards I said they were. Alright, then the last couple of cards we have to go through are, of course, our... Extra stuff from the other at uh, the other colors. I can't. Why is my brain not remembering what they're called? Um. Anyhow, we have uh, from the aggression. We have two copies of assault training. Uh, we only get two because it says max two per deck. Uh, so it uses two training counters. Alter ego action. Exhaust this card and remove one training counter from it. To choose an aggression red event in your discard pile and shuffle it into your deck. Um, so that's actually kind of fun. So we had um, the one that got vision has one that lets um do that anyhow um, with his cards. But now here you can do one for aggression. Then we have three copies of a justice card. So you have chance encounter with the black suit daredevil. Uh, condition. Attached to a side scheme. Max one per scheme. Interrupt. When side scheme is defeated, search your deck and discard pile for an ally. Add it to your hand and shuffle. Uh, that's kind of cool. Um, get a free ally. And then we have our leadership, which we have joining forces. So they've been kind of putting these at the end. So this has the alliance. Players can pay this card as a cost, so it's four. Hero action. As a group, the player puts a total of one Avenger ally and one Guardian ally into play in their hands. So, uh, so yeah, since they started doing the Guardian set, they started adding these more cards that work together. The Avengers and Guardians. Um, this is another one that will work with that. Um, yes, if one player can afford to pay all four, great. But maybe 
two players, or maybe you have four player game, maybe each player gets to play one. Um, but you only get to put two cards in, but you get to decide who gets to play what and when. And our final one is three copies of the basic, uh, Meditation with Moon Dragon. Um, Alter Ego Action. Exhaust your Alter Ego, play a card from your hand, reducing its resource cost by three. Um, definitely fun. Especially, I like the fact that I said earlier, we didn't really have any Alter Ego or... Ultra Ego action cards or anything for Vision. And then now we got two in here. Although the aggression one you can't include in this deck. But you could swap this one in. And then you could play a card from your hand. Reducing its cost by three. Um, and that might. So just kind of going through his deck here. So his main deck. It would only be Solar Beam for free. But I mean. Dude Solar Beam is super powerful. But it says. Play a card from your hand, reducing its resource cost by three. So it wouldn't, might not help him as much because it has to be, uh, um, it can't be an attack card. So that wouldn't help there. I'm just trying to see if this would be worth putting in your deck at all. So the only thing it would be worth for would be one of your two allies. Uh, because you could play an ally, um, ally for basically free or for one those would be the only two cards in visions deck specifically that that would help um but there we have it there is the visions we have another avenger um team them up with wanda and scarlet witch see how well that goes uh or do a do a four player game with him and quicksilver and I'm not sure who you would put as the fourth player that would go with that trail. If you had Wonder Man, if they make him, I would definitely say him. He would be the perfect fit. Um, but yeah, that'd definitely be cool. Uh, so there we go. See you guys in the next video. Bye.